I'm The Voice, and this is a Divi community-produced video from the Foundation. So why don't we start off with um, probably the biggest topic I can think of, which is Divi Project, but now Foundation, the Divi Foundation and the recent changes. And it's really kind of a restructuring of everything, but it's a recovery of what the original vision was. Okay, so what about those changes? Um, so the initial idea is to actually get back to the roots. The idea is that DV project is the blockchain, it is the coin, and it is extremely important that it has its own path forward. And DV Labs is a development company that has been helping a lot DV for a few years, but it is also important that it continues its path forward. It will focus on the business side while DV can focus on the blockchain and it can focus focus on make its technology adopted um, basically by all audience. That's really the idea about that. And we need multiple companies like DV Labs. We have the sidechain company, right? That will help us later. Um, this company is not DV Labs. It's a completely different company and, and it will help DV grow. We need many like that. What can you add to that, guys? I guess the only thing I would add is you mentioned the path and then you said returning to roots. I don't think we're returning. I think we're on that path. The thing I got into all of this for was, you know, we, we had master nodes back then. We're empowering staking vaults going forward. It was kind of like the whole thing was about participating in this and making it better. And I think that's the path we've always been on. We're just kind of not going back to roots, but continuing along that path. It's just the way I see it. Well, I think I agree. It, essentially, when I got on board, of course, early on, the whole goal was a philosophy that was under the development guidelines of making it easy. But ultimately, it was always because being in crypto and being part of the blockchain meant that we as community members were in charge. The developers build stuff, but we guide the whole entire project and it and it takes our involvement so and that was the goal originally um and i think that uh, that's what we're just honoring we're completing that yeah i think that's exactly what we're trying to do and the fact that dv labs um, helped us a lot and really was the focus of the dv project for a moment obviated the importance of what dv was achieving technically that's yeah. also why we're here rob voice and i we're really here to basically help the project uh, become a more decentralized project with a much wider impact that it's currently having. And for this, the foundation needs to become a tool for people to basically integrate this technology to develop around the DV blockchain. And that's really why we're here. So uh, we can talk a little bit about our background. Let's spend a minute talking about ourselves. We hope we've got new people in the community. Maybe some people don't have any idea who we are, and many people probably don't even know our backgrounds. Like, why are we even here? Or why, why are we qualified to do this? So I'll start. My background, well, I'm Robert. My last name's Hirsch. But my background has, uh, since college, has always been startups, since my very first job out of college. I spent 13 years in college because uh, <laughs> I'm really dumb. Uh, no, I, I got a couple of degrees. I left engineering school with a PhD in mechanical engineering, so went straight and only worked in startups from there. I started my own thing, uh, developing a, a GPS watch before they were in watches. So this is the 90s. I am 55 in case people don't know. Um, and then from there, I just worked into in alternative energy, fuel cells, hydrogen pumps, and I had one stint at a company that did X-ray fluoroscopy. Um, so all startups and kind of all engineering, uh, moving up into managerial roles. And then I just stopped in 2014. Um, Bitcoin became a big part of my life. And then I was just going to be Bitcoin. And then 2017, 18 came around and I got pulled <laughs> in every, di which, every different direction. Um, and got into a few things. But the only thing I really got involved in, uh, like with my hands, writing code, talking to community members, is really Divi. Um, all the other ones, I just put some money there and saw what happened. Um, that's the overview of my background. Nick, do you want to give it a shot? 
Sure. I'm in Switzerland, in Geneva. So I started as a, a school that is basically an equivalent to a bachelor. I reached a major international company, one of the biggest company in, in the world. And I really reached there as a financial analyst. A few years later, I joined TV Labs and TV. I initially started to help voice because in fact, I was a TV holder. I really liked the initial project from Jeff and Nick, and I was really interested by the TV offering. And in fact, I was seeing voice helping everybody. It was seemingly 24 seven for me. And I just started to help him a little bit. The more I started to involve into TV, the more things I started to see that I could help on. In the end, I ended up kind of most of the operation right now for DV Labs. I also helped DV Labs go through 2023 and reduce the operational cost by more than 80% and be in a stable position for 2024 moving forward. Uh, well, what about you, Voice? I gotta say. I think that's great. I, I, I know most of the community knows me and they kind of have an understanding of my background. I've, uh, of course, come from many different kinds of industries, none of them technical from the standpoint of computers and, and uh, uh, just completely self-educated. So there's a reason why I can answer many questions regarding business or sales or even unloading trucks. I've done pretty much everything you can do. My journey began almost, wow, 13 years ago in crypto. And the reason why I got involved in crypto is totally 100% based upon what I believed the freedoms that it should give us as individuals, the, the sovereignty of our assets. So I'm very motivated in that purest aspect of freedom-based uh, decisions and, and those kinds of things, which is another reason why I'm very, very proud and very, very happy that we as a community are, are fulfilling the destiny of moving towards governance. We, that's our kind of our business background, you know, like why we're we're okay to help um, move Divi along. But what do you guys like doing? Like when you're not head down in Divi, what do you guys do? I'm always head down in Divi. <laughs> True. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's the, I think that's the main thing. No, realistically, I also, I, I just spend time with my friends, have very long conversation about things. I don't really like much going into pubs and things like that. Um, I mostly receive people at home and then I go out, I have a really wonderful dog. So I really go out a lot, but other than that, it's really very much TV. That's funny. I, uh, I have the opposite view. <laughs> I mean, I've got some good friends, of course, but uh, you know, I, socializing is not my thing and I, everything i actually do like people know i do triathlons those are very individual events <laughs> i don't do i also live in puerto rico so most of my friends i moved here five years ago and culturally uh i have not acclimated as well as i would have liked and most of my friends are actually still back in new york that's the the person of robert not just on my resume <laughs> <laughs>